Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. It's Monday. We've got some packages. That must mean it's time for mail call. All right, so we got a few packages here. Uh, it's time for the old mail call. Uh, let's get a crack a lacking, shall we? Uh, first up, uh, the black Gemini. That means this is from KRS. I've gone ahead and split the tape on these ahead of time, kind of speed the old thing up, you know. Uh, and um, I'll take a look inside. Uh, so this is this mail call is going to be a mix of some new stuff and a mix of some older stuff. Um, we'll just have ourselves some time. Check this one out. I do like uh, KRS has switched. You know, we keep putting our comics inside these uh, bubble mailer, mailer envelopes inside of the Gemini mailbox, which is uh, sort of similar to what I do, uh, except that I just use regular bubble wrap um, because I'm not paying for these um, mailers. And uh, these mailers, the adhesive that they use to shut close them, uh, actually not that easy to get into. Um, but still, I like the bubble wrap on top of the mailer. So this is some uh, some modern books here. Uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I've been kind of going, uh, realizing I don't want to completely miss the boat on this one. Um, I had for the most part, so I've been picking up some of the back issues I don't have. I picked up a couple of covers that uh, kind of dig. Uh, so this is Miles Morales 25. This was kind of the homage to the um, original uh, first issue of its own title. Um, they all knew all different. Unfortunately, I see there's a kind of a ding here in this white corner. So we don't have a, it's not a nine, eight candidate, but that's okay. It's, they don't promise that anyways. And it'll be fun. Uh, then we have, uh, issue 39, that dripping Ivan toe tau variant. Of course, just a trade. I don't, yeah, so that just looks that looks cool. And then last, uh, uh, because what what issue of any comic isn't complete? Uh, I mean, and I'm sh I know there's been more of these because I've got probably a couple of these. But there's a uh, Spider-Man one uh, homage. I don't remember who did this one, but still, it looked it looked pretty good. So. There we go. A couple of Miles Morales books. Uh, next up, this is uh, from the folks over at Unknown Comics. So usually if Unknown lately, I haven't been buying any of their variants uh, unless they're like really on sale because uh, they're overproducing them and such. But yeah, so this was, um, I picked up they had a very, this wasn't a uh, store variant. They had a ratio variant at a really, really good price. And sometimes they have that early on. Um, they taped these together. With, I hate this. They use scotch tape to tape these together and you cannot get in there. So you're going to have to very carefully place surgery um, with expensive books, potentially, um, to get in here. All right. So, anyways, trying to do it, or at least I see. Um, so there was a ratio, a high ra high ratio, a one in one hundred um, ratio that was uh, darn uh, reasonable. Uh, and I don't know if it was a mistake on their part initially, or maybe because they were doing their own exclusive, they were going to get a whole bunch of them whatever i pounced on that and sure enough i'm glad i did because i think i paid like 40 something dollars for the one in 100 45 bucks i think it was and um you know then all the stores started charging like a hundred and something dollars for it when it came out um and while i was at it because they had them on sale and i was getting shipped i grabbed a couple extra of the uh detective comics and action comics one um facsimile um again i don't know 
on these. It's a good chance these could just end up in the giveaway bin. Um, I just want to make sure I have like two clean, super clean copies for myself. And then all the rest of these things I'm getting thrown in the bin. But they had it like $3.89. But here we go. Uh, let me pull. Oh, I'm going to see if that, how this comes out. So this is the Harley Quinn 30th anniversary. Um, this is the um, Art Germ foil one in 100 variant so there we are i liked this cover a lot and like i said picking up a one in 100 just looking at the corner corners look good so yeah super stoked bam like i said it was like 45 dollars I think it was maybe 55. Sometimes they get the, um, they post the ratios the, uh, early and they'll adjust the price based on demand uh, because they don't want to stick on them for a whole bunch. And so that was just one where I happened to jump. Even later on, they started charging way more for it. So, um, Anyways, this one here, uh, here's a, this is an eBay pickup. Again, completing, working on uh, some of my runs here. Here's Miles Morales, uh, 22. Uh, just filling in, or filling in my run. Great looking cover. With what Vulturette or something. All right. Last book in today's mail call. Uh, so this was an eBay find. <laughs> Uh, like do not ban send there. Uh, this was this is well packed. Uh, I put it in between a lot of cardboard uh, and everything else. Uh, so this is um, an example of paying attention to what you do so you get what you want. Don't don't shop eBay while sleep deprived. So I was cruising ebay one thing led to another looking at some books next thing you know i'm on like a i'm looking at some blue beetle early blue beetle silver age blue beetle appearances um and i'm looking at a book and i'm like oh wow that book's really nice i like that book uh i didn't really like the price that the guy had and i'm like looking around looking at other copies that are up for sale uh trying to find a good balance of copy and price and then I find one and I go, oh, my God, that's a great price. Uh, conditions a little bit lower than uh, what the guy saying. The condition is a little bit lower than what uh, I uh, maybe wanted. But the price, I couldn't argue with it. So I said, all right, let me uh, go ahead and pick that up. And so I did. Well, actually, I didn't even do that. The guy had an offer. So I placed it. I sent an offer for like $24 or something for this book and uh, got a response back fairly quickly saying, okay. And I was excited at first. And then it was like only like two moments after I had got excited about it that I realized um, that this is actually not the first printing. This was a reprint that was done later on. And so, yeah, so this is like the first appearance of the question, early Blue Beetle book. Um, it's just, it, this is not the um, original. So moral of the story is guys, Make sure, I mean, he's under necessary. I guess it'd be nice if they had called out the fact that this wasn't the original, um, everything else. But, you know, one of those buyer beware type things, don't pay, you know, know what you're buying. If you're going to shop eBay, know what you're buying because people are going to do taking advantage. Now, he didn't claim that it was the original or anything else. So that's completely on me. Um, I can't, you know, it's hard to fault him and whatnot. And I didn't pay much for it in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, it's a lesson learned um, that you should be sure, be certain of what it is that you're buying and don't, uh, don't do it while drunk or sleep deprived or both even. Anyways, um, yeah, that's today's mail call. Thank you guys for coming on out and watching. Much appreciated to you. Hope that you like and subscribe to the video. We're marching on away to a thousand. 
So pretty soon we'll start announcing all the stuff for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. In the meantime, tell a friend, help about the channel. Hopefully they'll help us grow. And then until next time, you collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.